Hi, I'm Steve, the New Homes Historian, and in this video we take a tour around the Persimmon Homes development called Oak Tree Gardens in Newport in Shropshire. This development sits on the eastern edge of Newport, and this gives you great access to the A41, to Wolverhampton, the M54 and to North Shropshire. You can also get access to Telford by the A518. The location of Oak Tree Gardens enables you to have quick access to local supermarkets and a retail park and the beautiful town centre of Newport is just a 15 minute walk away. The development is being marketed in two distinct phases but eventually the development will contain 215 two, three and four bedroom homes all taken from Persimmon Homes' standard portfolio. Oak Tree Gardens gets its name from the mature oak trees that are dotted around this development. Now, you know as well as I do, the Persimmon Houses don't really uh, like my fire in terms of design but actually looking at this development there's a bit of detail on these uh, particular house types you can see that you've got a bit of brick banding a bit of brick detail here and there a bit of half render and all of that stuff is it really does sort of make the street scene look uh, look good but I always see with persimmon that the houses are all sort of laid out in long lines look and it's sort of very linear street scenes in particular but um, here you can see over the road there that, that big silo there so that's the view there I don't think that will be there particularly forever um, you, you know but you can see the uh, corner plots here with those sort of side um, side windows there but um, I mean this is this looks pretty much a completed street really um, two different kinds of brickwork going on as well but you can see there's kind of like a bit of communal parking um, going on there and what I like about this development as well is a lot of really mature oak trees as well on this site um, which which really suit there's one coming up you can just sort of see it on the left hand side now um, and they always like to put the larger properties um, around the oak trees but um, yeah you can see here I what I don't like if I'm honest is the porticos really on these um, particular properties these sort of plastic bolt-on um, porticos but nice green space of in front of these houses as well looks at that um, and you can see there's a couple of oak trees just there really um, there's the compound there you can see it's autumn some golden uh, golden trees there on the perimeter of the um, of the development but there we go there's one of those mighty oak trees there obviously that's being protected um, and we're coming up in sort of phase two now this is um, where they're sort of up to where they're building um, you can see look you can see those those uh, properties are still well underway you know, it's nice to see them under construction isn't it but yeah let's look at the parking situation here so it looks like there's sort of two spaces per property which is good um, but a lot of, lot of community but I suppose if you're gonna have friends and stuff like that at least they don't need to park on the road but you do see look you can see there that property there the driveway is empty but the cars actually parked outside of the property um, and that's that's always a real problem isn't it um, people not using their driveways because they don't really want to or it could be somebody who's not particularly great with reverse you know reversing out of their out of their driveway um, uh, lots of different reasons um, I haven't seen a great deal of Ruffords on this particular site you can see here this is the pumping station the sewage pumping station which I imagine is needed here um, because a lot of the sewage from um, here goes across to Telford. One thing that also strikes me about the development is there's not a massive amount of green space. There's a couple of little lawns, but some of the um, smaller properties, as you can see, the whole frontage is just tarmac. Um, 
And I think having that sort of green green corridor running up a development is really, really important, I think, you know. Um, but overall, the development, for me, is 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 what I call so-so. I'd probably give it a, a sort of 7 out of 10, really. Um, but... Uh, it looks okay to me there's there's a good mix of house types and i like the elevation on finishes i hope you've enjoyed your tour around oak tree gardens by persimmon homes please click the subscribe button and join us again new homes historian